Now then, welcome back to another episode of Nemson playing his single player game, the New World Mod Pack. Yeah, here I am again. How you doing? And uh, thank you very much for your comments on the last video. Much appreciated. Glad that you all understand that I'm uh, just playing this game to have some fun and that I uh, occasionally encounter glitches and I had to cheat unfortunately I didn't like it but I did it and it's over now so let's move on with the series now today we've got to do some AE I've managed to get some decent AE stuff going on and one of the things that I want to touch on before we go upstairs and start working on the AE project the more automated farming is making a brand new sword now I've been looking into this um, Bladecraft mod, which gives you the cool looking sword. So for instance, this is, well, I had a bit of black and it gives me a black diamond sword. I had a bit of redstone and it encrusts uh, or inserts the redstone as a gem inside the diamond sword, which gives me a black redstone diamond sword. Now I've been having a bit of a chat with the mod developer, the guy who made the Bladecraft mod on Skype. Um, thank you very much if you're watching. And I've found out the details about what this mod actually does for me. And most of the time, um, a diamond sword with enchantments is the best sword in the game. I like the look of this one. Look at it. Cool. Yeah. Um, this is... Basically, the mod increases the enchant enchantability, uh, the chance of getting an enchantment. Much like um, a gold sword is better at getting enchantments than, let's say, a stone sword. Not only has he done a great deal of pixel art to make the swords look pretty cool and have pretty much every sword in the game with dies that you can dye the handles and different types of gems that you can put into the hilt to give it the little shiny thing but also he's made them so that they're extra enchantable so that they work better on an enchantment table which is awesome now for most experienced minecraft players the likelihood is that you will use books and you'll invest your levels into books and then use an anvil since mojang included anvils in the game um you will use an anvil to create your let me just check i've got everything uh, i may need those uh, to create your perfect enchanted sword but that's uh that's sort of Sort of with the Bladecraft mod, it's there for a bit more early game, the first enchantment on the sword. Before you've got um, a cow farm and a sugarcane farm for books. Uh, where do I want to put this? Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll show you around and see what I've done in a minute. I'm just going to get on with the building. Um, there are a few other things that the Bladecraft mod developer has told me. I'm not at liberty to say any of it uh, during my episodes, so I'm not going to. But all I will say is I am very excited about where the mod is heading. Uh, and I look forward to doing a lot more on the Bladecraft mod uh, in future episodes. As soon as the mod is completely updated, which... Believe me, they sound like they've got some awesome ideas for creating new elements in this mod. And I can't wait to tell you. I can't wait to go over them with you in this single player. And uh, maybe I'll even do a little mod spotlight if he lets me when all the new stuff comes out. Because I have a, a fairly good understanding of what he's trying to achieve. And I think I helped him out a little bit with a few bits and pieces here and there. Uh, as you can see, right? Let's let's get back onto this subject now. Bladecraft 
I've made this awesome sword. I've had a word with the mod developer, and he's going to do good things with the mod. So I'm looking forward to that. Cecil and Cecil 2 uh, are flapping around trying to watch. I don't think there's anywhere that they can actually hide out at the minute, so they're a bit stuck. But we will see. Now, I see how many times they get in my way. Uh, I may get around to naming Cecil 2 in a while. I may, may go and do that in a bit. Uh, I'll have a look at the uh, comments again and see which name I come up with as my favourite so far. Um, what else do I want next? Let's see. So if you're following, right, this is the basic footprint of the same building over there. And it's going to look the same when I'm finished. But this is how I would have wanted it to be over there. So I will end up taking all of the build craft out of there and replacing it with this. Um, chest just there. That then connects up. So now I've got... This is funky. I've got the Emmy controller uh, powering the uh, being powered by the first furnace. The second and third furnaces will have cables, which I've got to make yet going up to power the machines because the harvester over there takes an awful lot of power I'm telling you uh, and the system here let me put this there it is a simple 1k storage device goes in there to give that um, to give me all the storage space I'm going to need in this and the idea here is that if every farm has one of these I can just take out the storage and put a fresh one in take that to my me system wherever i want it to be in the world and transfer the items and empty the disc sounds pretty cool i'm not at that stage yet so for now it's just a chest next to its own little me system uh, i'm not going to need another chest for this side that chest is for over there um I really do need to figure out where the furnace is going to go as well because this is going to be for making charcoal this little rig here will have two um, two objectives on this side I'm going to use oak saplings I'm going to use oak saplings because I want the charcoal and I want apples as a byproduct all right Cecil get out of my face that side, I'm doing the rubber trees because I want charcoal and rubber as the byproduct for making sticky pistons and things like that. So each one's going to have to have a charcoal burner, which I've decided to go for the best of the metallurgy steel furnaces, which is the highest upgrade in furnace you can get with a metallurgy mod. Um, and now I've got to rig it with the AE system to get it to work. And as far as I can tell, uh, I'm going to need an import and an export, but I'm also going to need a hopper. Uh, because charcoal is a, basically I'm burning wood, the AE system tries to put the logs into the, um, the burnables, the bottom slot, regardless of where I put the import bus saying import logs. It's saying this can produce EU. Uh, so burn it. Don't put it in the top. It doesn't really understand charcoal. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put an export bus into the into the item hopper above it. And that's going to import the wood and the item hopper will drop the wood straight into the top slot of the furnace. I also need to have an import on the side to import charcoal back into it so that it um, burns using charcoal. Thank you Cecil, get out of the way. And I will also need an export, uh, I need an import bus on the bottom. Wow, see that lag spike? Um, I'm gonna need an import bus to drag everything out of the furnace that's been completed as well. So that might be all I need there. I hope I've made enough AE bits and pieces I think I have and it's getting dark so I'm going to take a brief break I'm going to go and craft myself some cables and then come back up oops there's Enderman about now I'm wondering how this is going to turn out because those Endermen aren't going to go anywhere in daylight they're not going to burn up 
Right, I'm going to go down into the... Uh, whoops. Hello. Yep, bye. I'm going to go down and get the stuff together to make myself some cables, and I'll be back in a second. Well, guys, as you can see, I've made a few changes to the layout. This has become my little warehouse building, at least the outlying, to give it the same feel as these other buildings here. I've incorporated the same design. I'm, I'm really um, I'm into that design at the minute. It might change over the course of time, but at the moment, that's the thing that I'm into. This is the kind of design that I'm up to. So my style may change in the future, but hey, <laughs> don't we all change our styles from time to time? Uh, let's do three just to be on the safe side. I'm making a, a bunch of glass fiber cable because it pretty much works with any uh, any voltage as far as I'm concerned. I don't know exactly the rules and requirements for it, but I do know that it's pretty straightforward that that's the best you use when you need to use something so that's what I'm using here now we're going to get some bit of a build up going to try and get this uh, built up as I increase the height and the levels of the building itself so we're going to need to take it that's three high off the floor and then the final ones there this is the the sort of design that I've been doing a fair bit of recently. Uh, I've been working on some behind the crystal keep stuff on the Utopia server, and I came up with a, a similar design. It's sort of stuck in my head right now. So that's what I've been up to. That's what I'm doing on the Utopia server as well, uh, which there should be a video out very soon, if not already out by the time I make this. Yep, something like that. Uh, the idea is to uh, actually that's the wrong way around. Uh, the idea is to keep the same theme, but slightly, just slightly change things around every now and again to give uh, each building slight different amount of character. Only slight; it doesn't have to be a lot. The overall theme still the same. Around it's this stone and wood look. Now, how am I going to get in and out of the place? Well, I need this level first so that I can build up from there. So I'll do that. Just around here. I can hear uh, Bertie growling. I've uh, split them all up a bit. I don't know which one's which. But I'm guessing, because that one's barking over there, that one of these two is Bertie. Maybe this one. We'll see. We'll see how he reacts to me in the future. And those were the wrong way around as well, weren't they? Let's put them the right way around. That way. That way. There. And then it will look right when I put some other blocks in. Now, as for the other blocks, I've been uh, looking into another mod. Let me just get, get some blocks from those and I'll show you. There's this thing uh, that you can make a hacksaw. And it's pretty much the same as the red power thing. But I did some stone slabs with that. So I'm going to try out stone bricks. And make some of these. I don't want them too big. So I'm taking them down to panel size. And oops, let me open that. <clears throat> and they work pretty much the same as the red power panels did. So in this instance it's going like that. Like that. I don't need to see the outside edge of that, so I'll block that off. Uh, there. No. Shift click. Thank you. There. 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 Uh oh, I put that one in the wrong place. There's a, a funny, funny texture to it at the minute when you break them. I think that's just because it's not quite updated yet. And there you go. You see, I'll be able to see the power levels. Uh, I'll be able to access the chest, um, but everything else looks cosmetically pleasing from the outside, which is the way forward for it. Right, let's get let's get some bits and pieces on the go now. Let's get things motoring a little bit, shall we? Let's build this 
building up a bit. Now I would be having these here. We'll see how high I need to go before I can put the dirt down. Bearing in mind this is another tree farm. I'm going to want the same sort of level as last time. And I'm going to need cables coming down through it. So the AE cables will probably come down this way. And I've got to attach them to that side as well. And the power cables will be coming up this way. How high do I need it to be? Let's see. One, two, three. And it would be another one. And then the, then the dirt. Okay. So let's quickly get those done. Pop that in there. Uh, oh, yeah, I've got some more. Good little inventory tweaks. I don't know what happened to those backpacks last time. I haven't been able to figure it out. I haven't seen any sign of any evidence that there's a bug with the backpacks mod. I've just decided not to use two mining backpacks at the same time. Simple. I'll just uh, not do it. Eventually, um, now I've cleared through all of the caves and stuff around here, I'll probably just leave it at that anyway. I don't need to go around um, mining up new materials all the time. And pop, 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 pop. Pop these around here. Building with Nemson. Yeah. <laughs> I've decided that the pace of this LP, this single player, um, I felt in the last couple of episodes, maybe not last episode, but last episode sort of brought it to a head, that in my first couple of episodes, I was taking my time with it and enjoying it. And then I started getting some viewers and I started thinking, right, I need to get this um, I need to get content out. I need to get stuff that people want to watch. I need to make make my viewers happy. I need to give them something new every week. I need to do something new every week. Uh, well, every episode. And I've decided, guys, that actually that's probably not the best way to, to go into this season. This series, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this mod. This mod pack. I'm enjoying where it's going. I don't want to rush it. So I've come to the conclusion that I'm simply not going to rush anything. I'm going to take my time and I'm going to enjoy the whole aspect. Everything there is to enjoy about the mod. Every mod that's involved here and all the ideas I've had to make this um, a really cool event. A really cool series for me to enjoy and for you guys to also enjoy. I've decide which way around the AE system is going to go here. I think if I bring that straight down, it's going to get in the way of the AE cables. Let's put a couple of AE cables down before I start getting too advanced. There. So I need to bring this one across, but I also need to go up. So I'm going to need to come up over here this way because I need to include a special block here the interface now the harvester spits out everything it harvests from there so I want to put an interface into the AE system there to catch it all and drag it straight into the system and all it will do is collect it all and put it straight to that chest down there and then what I choose to do with it from there uh, will be what I do with it and that's it um, but I need to export goods into... Uh, I don't need to export anything into there. That's pretty much sorted up at the top there. But I do need to export into that. Now I've got two ways of going about it. I can do it from this angle. Bring it over here. Which... Oh, I just did that wrong. I put the wrong one in place. I can do it from this angle. And insert the saplings into it from there. Which means I only need to join those two up then. Thank you. There's a little bit of lag. I thought I'd done something wrong. 
And then the power cable can potentially come round this way. Uh, do I want to bring it round and in? Give me some space. I need to have a space for... Uh, well, sludge is one thing that I need space for. I want to be able to get sludge out of there at some point for a sludge boiler. So I think that's probably best going straight straight down here. So this is... Yeah, I can bring it straight down and across. So really I want to bring this power out this way. And up to join that way. I've got plenty of cables. That'll do. And if I'm bringing the piping down there, I'll need to take my AE cables across this way. Like so. Like that. And that should be compact enough to bring waterproof piping or aqueducts. Uh, aqueducts? Liquiducts. Aqueducts. What am I like? Liquiducts down from there to bring the materials down into wherever I'm going to deal with all the sludge and liquids and things. I've got a few ideas for that. Let's just go and have a quick sleep. Um, planning on using the uh, big iron tanks of Railcraft. Hi there. Let me use my new sword on you. Oh, I knocked your head off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go on. Get me keep the head. No. I managed to get a creeper head. It's just must be still too dark in here. It won't let me sleep. There must be an enemy close by. Where are you? Come on, come on, come on. Okay, boys. You are all standing waiting for somebody to tell you what to do. Where are they? Ah, he's up there, look. There he is. Come and get him, boys. Come and get him. No? You're just going to just gonna leave him to me? Fine, I can deal with it. It's all right. I can do with the arrows. Right, now let's try and sleep. Mmm, the rooftops. I better make sure I put some lights on the roof next time I get a chance. But not right now, not this episode. This episode, we are busy having a chat and doing some building. <clears throat> uh, now, those bits in the windows and the panelling I will put in there as well. But let's get the mechanics of it all working first. Uh, so, for now, I will use this run here. Just to build up and check to make sure everything's in order. So we've got the planter underneath the middle there that's going to plant the oak leaves. The harvester's going to harvest them all, spit them into there. That's good. So that section's done. I can do the roofing and stuff afterwards. That's receiving power from those generators. They're both receiving power from the generators. That's receiving. That's going to receive the saplings there, and the AE system is going to bring everything down. Everything's connected on the AE network, so we're all good to go. Right, let's start by emptying the inventory out, and then grab some saplings and see if it'll start working. So let's dump all my AE stuff away for now. I'll chuck that in there as well, and let's go and find out where did I put all that stuff. Here we go. Uh, this is basically just going to be a great big storage area and a little workshop for my AE at the minute. I don't plan on keeping it that way though. I don't plan on having uh, my AE system all here at the moment. I've got no oak logs anywhere. No, I haven't. So I can't program it that way. Have I got any bones for bone meal? I think I have somewhere. Oh, let's go and have a look in here. No. Yeah, nope. Oh, there we go. Bones for bone meal. One, two, three. That'll probably do me. Right, so charcoal is the next thing. Let's get a few bits of charcoal. So first of all, I want to assign where the charcoal is going to go because I need the AE system to start functioning. So there, it's going to have charcoal exported. There, we're going to have charcoal exported. Did I get that top one? No, for some reason it didn't work. And there we're going to have charcoal. So we've got charcoal being exported into all of the generators. And this one is going to give power to the ME controller directly. Whereas the other two are going to go up to power the two machines. So they should all have a bit of power now. Let's go and check. So this 
should be gaining power. Why is it not gaining power? Because that isn't actually on yet. Okay, so let's put half a stack in there and half a stack in there. And that should now be powering up. Yep, there we go. And the planter should also be powering up. Yep. The planter really doesn't take much at all. There we go. Let's put uh, all but one in there. This AE export bus is going to export oak saplings, just like that. So any oak saplings that come into the AE system through the harvester will get deposited in there. And if there's no room there, the AE system will just keep it in the chest, which is pretty awesome. That's all automated up there. And we've got those all set up down there. So then the furnace needs sorting out to get the charcoal being made. So this one, top one, it's that one that needs to export charcoal to start the furnace off. And I'll put that in there for now to make sure it's got plenty. The rest of it I'm going to put in there. Now I need to get some oak wood logs to get me started on this part. So let's get with the bone meal in. So pop, 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 pop. Come on, thank you. Yep, put me inside a tree, why don't you? Cheers, harvester. Awesome, thank you. And immediately it has ripped it down and gathered some sludge. Now the sludge, when it gets to 4,000 uh, 4, buckets or mega buckets or whatever it is, when it gets up to 4,000, it will uh, not stop working. It will just not get any more sludge, which is good for me. I'm quite happy with that. It's good for me. Uh, but I do want to do something with the sludge at a later date. So I will be doing something with the sludge at a later date. So now the AE system gets set up to export oak logs into there. And it's got charcoal into the bottom. So then, when I put these in there, it should go and take them out straight away. There we go. So they're no longer in here. They're gone. They're now being turned into charcoal. Yep. And this import bus down here should be taking the charcoal straight out. Yes, it is. So it's immediately taking the charcoal out. All the oak wood that you've just heard being harvested by the harvester has gone straight into the furnace. The furnace processes things very quickly. And I should also be seeing some apples appearing in here at some point. Because the apples have nowhere else to go. So what this farm should end up giving me is apples and excess charcoal. Because this will get filled with charcoal. This will get filled with charcoal. This should get filled with charcoal. Yep. And this will keep full of charcoal as well. And all the excess charcoal will have nowhere else to go other than to sit in the ME chest. Ta-da! Yep. So that's simple. And the rest of it is just basically prettying the place up. Prettifying to make it look nice for my my world to look nice. Uh, is that going to be the right way around? Yes, it is. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I know. While I'm up there, I can just do the panels, can't I? I've still got some of them in my inventory. May as well do them now as well. Uh, I chose to do panelling to give it another little bit of depth to the, the thing it, that I'm building. Because if I used uh, full blocks, it would look a bit too blocky. And if I used glass, it would probably not be very pretty to look at. Because the stuff inside the glass, the stuff there is just machines working. Whereas that adds a touch of depth to it because it's touching the stair there so it's giving it a bit of character um unlike those ones which is deeper where i've put the stone block on the inside corner those ones don't quite go all the way in which means i've got all the space inside there as well well i think that's about it for this episode um i don't think there's much more to say we've got ae now I've still got a fair bit of AE crystals ready. I've got a load of stuff ready to make what I need over there. This is pretty much done. I've just got a few finishing touches to finish it off. Uh, I still want to put a roof on it. That would be nice. Uh, but I'll need to go and do a lot of 
uh, squid farming to get the ink to make that work. And this one is basically going to be an identical setup, but it will have rubber trees instead of apple oak trees. And that will be then my charcoal, apples and rubber supplies sorted. And we can get on with deciding what these two are going to be doing and how to rig those up. Um, we're basically going to need food is the, the next main thing. But I'll also need sugar cane. Because I want to get into enchanting this brand new sword from the Bladecraft mod. And uh, I know that the Tinker's Construct can't craft theirs. I also need an enchantment on a bow. And I've spotted a better bow as well from... Uh, was it Iron Fiber? No, 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 no. Iron Fiber. Nope. It must be a fiber wire or something like that. Fiber wire. No, can't see it there. I know it's from the chains mod though. Let's have a look. See what we've got on here. Just before we go, let's have a quick look at what I'm planning to, to do next. This chains mod is pretty cool as well. So I'm going to do a bit of something on the chains mod. If any, I will catch up with me. I've been told by a good friend of mine who knows quite a bit about the mod packs and how they're structured that this lag that I'm receiving when I open chests and things like that is potentially that the mod pack has got too many items that have conflicts of item codes and NEI can't quite handle it. It's got problems with how it's constructed. Now, no offense to Kyle McQueen who made this mod pack. Uh, but he can't fix it right now, so I'm a bit stuck. There it is, a fiber-wired bow. Fiber-wired bow requires fiber wire to make a bow in the same format as a normal bow. And fiber wire comes from iron wire and string. And next episode, I should probably look at getting some iron wire and some iron chains, which are made from iron wire. So I'm going to need to make a lot of iron wire to get the th that... And that's through a threader and all that sort of stuff we'll deal with next episode and hopefully get some stuff to enchant this sword and my nice fiber wired bow. Um, there's a few things that I've got to discuss about the Tinker's Construct next episode as well. But that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much once again for joining me on the new world. I hope you're enjoying everything you see and please keep leaving those comments. I like all the interaction I can get with you guys. I'm enjoying your input into my single player world. I'll catch you later. Good night.